Dan, are you uncomfortable talking about Mark? I'm not uncomfortable talking about Mark, but Becky might be if I do. It's okay. We're not here to be comfortable. <clears throat> Mark was a selfish little punk who ruined your life. When he talked to you into dropping out of school, I was going to go to Minnesota and kill him, but your mother stopped me. Well, you got your wish. He's dead. If he loved you, he would have done it a lot sooner. Dad. Oh, well, this has been great. I'm all better now. Becky, don't leave. I, uh... I'm sorry. I didn't want to come. I, I should just go. No, no. Could everyone please give us the rest of the session? Yeah. Hey, just remember, you two love each other. Yeah? Not like my mom. She was cold and withholding when I was three. This cat scratched me. Jack. <laughs> She's an addiction specialist. You need the kind of doctor that gives you drugs. Mm. <laughs> Becky, you had a strong reaction when your father said Mark ruined your life. Because it's not true. Oh, really? You had straight A's. You busted your ass to go to college. Then because he didn't want to be alone, he tricked you into moving to Minnesota and throwing that all away. I wanted to go. You were 17 and in love. You didn't know what you wanted. He promised you'd go to college. And when we sent you the money for you to do that, he took it. He went to mechanic school, and then he dropped out. He didn't take it. I gave it to him. He should have never accepted it. That money was for you, to be all the things you were meant to be. If he'd have let you go to college, you wouldn't be drinking now. Now, I'm pissed about that. Why the hell aren't you? You can't be angry at a dead person. Yes, you can. Whatever you feel is valid. I don't want to be angry at him. But you are. Okay, he shouldn't have taken my college money. And I am a little angry at him for some of the things he did that screwed up my life. A little? Why not a lot? Because it's not all his fault. Whose fault is it? Mine! Because I let him! I was so stupid! I didn't want to drop out and move. I wanted to go to college, but I was so afraid to lose him. And then I ended up losing him anyway. I've wasted so much time. I kept telling myself over and over again that I was going to stop drinking and get back on track. And now I'm so far behind. I'll never catch up. Remember how proud you were when I said I was going to be a doctor? Hey, you're my first kid. My beautiful little girl. I've always been proud of you. And never more than now. But then again, look at your competition. 